Okay, what am I supposed to be doing here? Let's see. Okay. Okay, well, when I first started playing, the first thing I discovered on the piano was a triad, and of course it was a C major triad. And when I discovered that, I said, what would happen if I took it up a step and used a progression and I got the D minor? So after finding D minor, it sounded it's a good to my ear. Party. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got the D minor, and then I went on and it became an E, and then I regressed back to the D minor, and then I went back to the C, and lo and behold, I was a composer. And of course, the rest was history. I started to um, write songs, and the magic of it was that I could always talk, you know. And I had this, um, I guess, it was a gift that I could read a newspaper and sing what the songs were saying, and of course I still do it today, where I can talk with music. And then I found out that if you use different tones in music when you speak, you could actually, uh, what is that word, extract emotions from your audience. And of course I tried to do that with my voice. And finding out that I wasn't the greatest singer in the world, I had to use every other trick in the book uh, to get recognized. So I fought and wrote my first song using these three chords. And um, lo and behold, when I looked at the audience, there became a crowd. And the crowd would gather around and listen to me play these chords. And I found out if I tried to be fancy and just embellish them a little, tell the difference if I had been playing this for 30 or 40 years. And as I continued, I started to look for lyrics that would fit in to the chords. And lo and behold, as I said before, I became a composer.